Disney Company, I beg of you, please, please, please find a much better singer out there who could do the ending theme for Reflection for the Disney's live action film of Mulan. We need to find a much better singer out there who does have a very beautiful voice and a very, very lovely face. And stop using these singers that we have right now who are not so pretty at all and they don't have talented voices. I'll never forgive you for choosing LL Grande for singing our beautiful song of Beauty and the Beast. That'll be a very important lesson to all of us. Please don't use those type of artists no more. Just find a great singer out there who can sing, who does have a very beautiful voice and a very lovely face. Whoever it's going to be. So please make it right this time. You got that? Good. <sighs> All right. Well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, a.k.a. Boom Up 97. This is my review for a day. And today's review, ladies and dudes, well, my friends, it's that time again for another movie review. And yes, ladies and dudes, we're, we are so looking forward to the next live action movie that came from Disney. And that is Mulan. I can't wait to see this movie. I think, I hope and pray it'll be an epic masterpiece. We need to find an epic masterpiece film that we all been looking for in a Disney live action film. Let's cross our fingers to it, or rather thought, pray for it. But for right now, let's go ahead and do the one that started it all. So, yep, for my next movie review is Mulan, the animated version. And to tell you the truth, this, ladies and dudes, yes, I did see this movie in theaters. Not once, but twice. I seen this movie twice in theaters. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie back then when I was little. But now I'm all grown up. I just found, um, just one single flaw about it. Just one single flaw. But I'll tell you that in a moment. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, here is my next movie review of Mulan. And yes, ladies and dudes, it was truly based by... I'm not sure if it is truly based by a true story or is it just a Chinese legend. I'll have to go back and do some research about it. If you know what I mean. So, let's head on to my movie review of Mulan. And all I could say about the main plot of the story is it's a story about a young woman named Mulan who needs to find a way to help out her father as soon as she can because her daddy's very, very sick and he's not doing so well and I think he has a problem with his hip or something and those Chinese people want him to go to war. But he's not in a very good shape at all. So Mulan had no choice but to take his place and go out to war. And she doesn't know how to be a warrior and all that stuff. So she needs a little help from this cute little dragon creature named Mushu. And Mushu will do the best that he can to help out Mulan to be a soldier be a brave dude, well, a female lady in disguise, being a dude, and try to save China, and try to get rid of those Huns once and for all. And that's my whole entire plot of Mulan. 
And I guess everybody wants to know is, what the heck do I think about this movie? Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I still enjoy this movie, even to this day. I will say, it's one of the most underrated Disney films of all time that came from the Disney's Ramazon. I know the most popular ones is The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and The Lion King. But I think underrated films are my most favorite ones for the Disney Renaissance because I grew up with underrated films and underrated films is my cup of tea. And Mulan is truly one of them. I will say, it had a pretty good storyline for the most part. The characters are likable. I freaking love the animations. I love the songs. The score is truly the most epic part epic part that I love about this movie it has good character designs and cool martial arts style and all that stuff so anyway let's head on to the strongest points and the weakest points of Mulan I will say for the strongest points for this movie is a tie just a tie between the two best songs in the whole entire movie and the other is the score. I will go on with the score first. Since you know me, I am a big fan of movie scores. And movie scores will always have a special place in my heart. It was one of the most epic scores I have ever heard in Disney history. It's so beautiful, so unique, and it has full of style. Oh, heck yeah. The best part I love about this score, it brought the Chinese-Asian feel to it. Yes, it is a Chinese score. They fit this movie so darn well with its beautiful Chinese-Asian feel to it. It had a very beautiful flow to it. What else I could say about the score? The score is the first strongest point of the movie, and the second strongest point of the movie is the two best songs. True to Your Heart by 98 Degrees and Stevie Wonder and the pop version of Reflection, sang by Christina Aguilera. I love both of them, and I can't tell which one I like the best. True to Your Heart has the best nostalgia feel to it, while Reflection is one of the best beautiful songs that I ever heard in a Disney soundtrack. I can't tell which one I like the best. But yeah, they're fun, they're excited, it's beautiful, it's edgy, and it did bring back nostalgia feel to it. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, about Christina Aguilera, I really like her better when she was in that young form. When she was so sweet, so innocent, so kind. She looks lovely back then, until... She went downhill when she became whatever that thing is. Oh, Christina Aguilar, what have you done to yourself? What happened to that cute, sweet, innocent face that we knew and loved? And then you turned out to be not so unpretty. You should be ashamed of yourself for ruining your own reflection. Just go back to the way you once were and not be like that. And as for 98 Degrees, they're still themselves and Stevie Wonder is still himself. If you know what I mean. So yep, True to Your Heart and Reflection is another good strongest point I do love about this film. And now, let's go on to the most weakest point of the movie. Since I love the beginning and somewhere around 
half of the middle point of the film and somewhere around at the end. I will say some parts in the middle was kind of rushed. I think they really did rush the film way too much. And it's during the time when Mulan is at the camp scene. I just wish they could flesh out the camp scene just a little bit more. I'll always remember I'll make a man out of you. That's one of the best parts I like about the camp scene. And feature our beloved Donnie Osmond to play the singing Shang. Yeah, I just wish the middle should have been flashed out more. You know, I want to get to know a little bit more about the soldier characters and get to know how will Mulan will get along with a few of them here and there. And, um, all that important stuff. So I will say dab in the middle of the film that was kind of rush. I will say that's the... The most biggest, weakest point I ever found in this movie. If you know what I mean. And now, let's go on to the characters. I guess I'll just stay with one character I truly love the best. And that is Mulan. Played by... Meh... Ma? It's so hard to pronounce her name. But I understand it's ch Chinese. And yes, an interesting fun fact you should know about the voice actress of Mulan. She did play a character in the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. If I got the name of the show right, you know that was uh, based by a, Mar a Marvel thing. That's pretty darn cool to know. Yes, I really do love Mulan. She is a very good, likable character. She had a great storyline, great personality, great attitude. She is a very, very lovely Chinese girl. And uh, I really do like the part where she did save China. She did it with all of her might. And her true bravery. I mean, she is a really good character, and a very strong female protagonist. At least she did not play a damsel in distress, no. She played a really good hero-like character all the way through from start to finish. What else I could say about her? So yeah, Mulan, great character. Overall, and I guess everybody wants to know what the heck do I think about Wushu played by Eddie Murphy Yeah, he's a pretty good character too But there was one little fault I found with Wushu that there was a part where he was acting like a pervert When he was thinking about Mulan's chest and I think Mulan did have the rights to slap Wushu on the face for being such a pervert and Looking at her chest. If you guys remember that scene or not. If you know what I mean. So anyway. Let's head on to my final thoughts of Mulan. Overall Mulan is a very good underrated Disney film. That came from in the Disney Ramazons. It had a pretty good storyline for the most part. The characters are likable. It has beautiful animation, good songs, a beautiful epic score, good character designs, good voice casting. And this is one good movie that you will never forget in movie history. And yes, I am looking forward to the live action film. And I really do believe that this live action film will stay very, very faithful to the original Mulan story. Well, since I never read it much, to tell you the truth. So, for my rating for this film, I decide to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's a pretty darn good movie to watch. Alright, see. Before we go, 
Here's my cat again. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right, little girl. I'll let you go. And that is my whole entire movie review of Mulan. And I'll be back for another movie review to come. I'm not sure if it'll be Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, or The Clash of the Titans. I'll go to one of those movies very soon, whenever I can get there. When the time comes, I guess. And that's all I have for now. I'll see you guys later, and sayonara.